Want to speak real Arabic from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at arabicpod101.com. Hi everyone, my name is Nora and this is Ask an Arabic Teacher. The question for this lesson is, are Arabic expressions affected by religion? There are a lot of expressions in Arabic that have Islamic origins. The Quran, which is the holy book of Muslims, was originally written in Arabic. Islam itself emerged from the Gulf region, which is historically an Arabic-speaking region. So, it's no wonder that even modern-day Arabic is heavily influenced by Islam. These expressions shifted from being specifically religious to being purely cultural, meaning that many non-Muslim Arabs use them as well. Let's see some of these expressions. First we have, Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah literally means if God wills. It implies that everything happens with the will of God and only if God wills. We use this expression after we say that we will do something or that something will happen or expect it to happen. For example, I will meet you at 6 o'clock, insha'Allah. Notice the uncertainty in this expression. Many people exploit this expression and use it to mean that they probably won't do what they said they will. So be careful. Next we have Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah literally means thanks be to God. We use this expression not only when something good happens, but also if something bad happens. The implications is that it could have been worse, so we should be thankful to God anyway. Here is a sentence example. I got into an accident, but I came out of it with some bruises, alhamdulillah. Now, let's see the expression, Rabbina ma'ik. Rabbina ma'ik. This one has many versions in different dialects. We're looking at the Egyptian version. It literally means, may God be with you. Egyptians use it when they basically want to say good luck, implying that godly power is way stronger and more important than luck. For example, good luck on your exams. Rabbina ma'ik fil imtahin. The Levantine version of this is, Allah ya'inak. Allah ya'inak. And there are many other versions, of course. You can use them on their own, of course, as long as they're in context. I hope you liked our lesson and I will see you in the next episode, inshallah. Salam.